Hello and welcome back to third edition of UniMinds Festival. My name is Simona and I have the, the delightful role to introduce two insightful fireside chatters, speakers, representing two different perspectives, industry on the one hand and academia on the other. In our, let's say, arena, fighting arena, Mr. Alex Kuchar, Associate Professor of Agricultural, Agricultural Economy, strong support of self-sufficient production of healthy and good food, innovation in food industry on one side, and Dasha David Vishenyak, Commercial Director at Perutnina Putui, representing the industry inside. So they will discuss the trends in food industry, among others, a bit surprising for me, at least, strategy of a meat producing company to invest in alternative sources of protein. Well done. We can all agree we need to have access to enough, but also good and healthy food, and we need to take care of the environment at the same time. We encourage participants to ask questions in Hubila platform, chat throughout the session. And now, Alesh, David, take it away. Hi, good afternoon. It's uh, just a few minutes after, the, after 12, afternoon. So first of all, really a sincere congratulations to, to, to the organization of this event. It's really amazing. Uh, uh, and I, we from the food, EIT Food Hub and Biotechnical Faculty are, are of course very much privileged to be part of this uh, great event. Uh, uh, first of all, it was of course the, 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 my comments to the organization, but second and not least is of course a big, big um, uh, comment on um, Mr. David Visenyak to be willing to participate in this event and to share his uh, excellent experiences, visionary thoughts and things like that. So thank you very much, Mr. David. Uh, can we hear each other now? Just this is a new, new, new modern thing to test the audio links. I'm hearing you very well. So Fantastic. Hopefully... Fantastic. David, I hope you enjoyed the lecture from uh, Mr. Jörg. Uh, it's difficult not to start with some comments or at least to try uh, to reach the emotional emotional energy York was 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 uh, delivering to the audience. So maybe let's start with unusual and un unplanned question to you, Mr. David. So who are you? Who are you personally? Uh, maybe just just some some of your personal background. How did you become a key person in a huge company like? Peretnina Ptuis, before we will tackle the company, of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay, actually, if you are a first hello and thank you for uh, inviting me to this, uh, to this conference. Uh, I would say that uh, actually I'm very, uh, a very uh, open person, uh, father of three children, uh, enjoying uh, life every day. Uh, I like uh, I like to do sports. I like to 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 spend time with uh, my family, uh, and of course uh, I enjoy also in uh, food because I'm coming from food business. I think that food is connecting people. Uh, that food makes uh, people happy. But going back to my professional career, I studied economics in Ljubljana University, then I done master degree in uh, University of Maribor in, uh, in uh, banking and economics. Uh, and a few years ago, uh, I finished MBA study in uh, Bled. So this is also my professional career. I started in Perutnina Ptui as uh, in accounting. Then I came to controlling department. Later, I was analyst of the board. And then because I had knowledge from, uh, of German language, they said, you will, you will be the one who can, uh, who can do some commercial uh, business with, uh, with our German clients. And so I started in commercial department. And now I'm responsible in Nino Ptu. I'm a board member for uh, sales, marketing, and logistics. You also yes. have, a, yeah. You also have very nice family. Maybe some personal things. What are your kids eating? How often do they eat perfect poultry meat from Perutnina Ptui? I would say that uh, yeah, it's interesting. The son is the oldest one. He's a heavy meat user like me. <laughs> uh, 
And then with daughters, which are, uh, which are youngest, uh, things are changing. So they would like to eat uh, less meat, also less meat at one time. Uh, they would like to have alternatives to this. They would like to know actually where the food was grown, what my food has eaten. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is something new for us, a bit older uh, generations. And uh, of course, uh, this helps me also, this experience with my children to, to follow the trends and to prepare company and myself to the future. Yeah. So company, you are coming from Perutnina Ptu is the regional winner, we can say, or a very important regional player. Maybe a few words about uh, who is Perutnina Ptu. How would you explain the, 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 the Perutnina Ptu company? What are the, the, the projects that you are currently working yeah, I will just say a few, few figures about the company. Uh, we are a group of companies. Uh, our production, we have fully integrated production in Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Serbia. The trading companies in uh, Austria, Romania and Macedonia. Uh, we will reach 400 million turnover this year and we have around 4,000 people employed. Uh, our main projects are are actually to follow the trends uh, of our consumers. Uh, and this is driving us to, to our development uh, and our innovation. So we are the first in the region who launched uh, animal, welfare, animal welfare friendly standard of, uh, of uh, poultry meat. We were the first in the region to, to launch antibiotic free meat in Croatia first, this year also in, uh, in Slovenia. We were the first also in the past uh, who made a system of uh, safety and traceability uh, so that our customers can always trace from, from where, from which farmer the, the meat is coming. Uh, also today we have QR code on our meat, packed meat, where you can, or uh, consumers can check from where the meat uh, has come. So we would like to be uh, in front of other players uh, in the industry. Beside this, I would say, of course, we are, we are having all the health standards needed to, 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 to produce and to export very demanding st standards. We have very demanding B2B customers also in EU. Um, we are actually selling our goods on 20 markets in Europe. Our main brand poly also in, uh, in the States and in, uh, in uh, United Emirates. Uh, yeah, and our our company is actually 117 years old, so we are quite old. Quite old, but still very uh, dancing, very modern rhythms. Probably all our delighted customers uh, or listeners uh, of the of the event would like to ask you, what about alternative proteins? Uh, it was a coincidence that we met in Paris in the largest global event related to food industry all was about innovation and particularly the innovation into alternative proteins in meat industry. Here, dear audience with David, we can share an interesting story and a nice uh, uh, type of collaboration between the companies, the regional leaders and university. Our university of course also is a leader in, in education and our faculty, biotechnical faculty, of course, a leader on on, on animal uh, production and food and feed bio, biotechnical processes. So David, what would you think or what would you tell about the alternative proteins as a human food? Um, and maybe is Perutnina Ptui thinking something about introducing the non-meat alternative to traditional meat products? Yeah. So of course, while we were following the trends and, uh, and uh, asking consumers what they want, uh, we saw that uh, there is a lot of actually our consumers who would like to eat either meat alternatives or eat less meat. Uh, so we decided that we will go in this direction. Why? Because we have to offer our, our consumers what they actually want. So this, we will not produce in the future like uh, or advertise like uh, vegetarian products. 
but but we would like to to develop a range of products with it which will be non meat products that means that uh, that uh, not that consumer is eating meat or eating or he will not eat meat that he can also combine this so with combination of these two products you will eat actually less meat and this is uh, this is our target for the future uh, regarding trends uh, on CL and in general, I think you remember, uh, Mr. Alesh, that in the past, bio and eco and all these buzzwords were very popular. And today, this segment is not very huge, actually, in, uh, in the retail. Um, I don't believe that it will be the same with, uh, with the story of, uh, of non-meat or beyond meat products because it will not be enough animal protein in the future. So the population is growing too fast. And I don't believe that actually with, uh, with the infrastructure that we have now to produce this meat on the world, what we have now, that it can go endless also in the future. So we will have to invent products which will be protein products with uh, with uh, vegetable proteins or, or uh, which will also offset the needs for the proteins uh, in the world that's why we will be part of this story also with assortment of uh, our in the, uh, of our company so this is basically can i say it's a little bit of announcement that pertina ptui We'll start with, with uh, let's say, non-meat product range in a few years or maybe even earlier. We developed the product, so we will launch the product the beginning of next year. And it was developed with the help of cooperation between uh, Challenge Lab that you mentioned before and Perotnina Ptui. So we have business challenge in the field of alternative protein sources. It was carried out in six groups with guidance uh, of mentors. And we were achieving very good results. So mm -hmm. the, the winning team uh, offers us idea and solution to produce Polygreen. Poly is actually one of our strongest brands with high brand, brand rec recognition and uh, loyalty in the southeastern region. Um, and we liked the idea very much. So we started to develop after this, uh, after this idea to launch uh, in, in, in I would say totally meat category and brand meat alternative. Um, so we developed the, the, the product, uh, P, is the, P is the basis for the product. And we will, we will uh, launch this in February next year. Yeah, this was really one of the most exciting project or collaboration with industry I was engaged in. So it was uh, to, to our audience a little bit of explanation it was just after the COVID uh, madness so this was basically a first with high level of hygiene and and uh, uh, virology uh, uh, attention with it was a first event live event after a long 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 time mm -hmm. uh, and then a group of students was hosted by company Perutnina under the EIT Food Hub organization biotechnical faculty and we were hosted in a very beautiful environment of a charming Piptui uh, monastery and castle. Excellent, Mr. David. Let's, let's continue with the future. Uh, you already uh, mentioned the activities of Perutnina Ptui related to sustainability. Uh, maybe we can tackle a little bit more uh, also regarding your markets. I know your company is very much uh, uh, proud on the share with sustainable, uh, sustainably grown chicken uh, on the Swiss markets and Austrian markets. So how Perutnina Ptui and yourself, how do you see the sustainability issue? It's a big buzzword. So how the big companies like yours is uh, tackling the, uh, the sustainability issues? Yeah, we were, we were discussing about view of, uh, of uh, teenagers. So sustainability is not only buzzword for the future. Sustainability should be business imperative. You know, it's not that, uh, that this is just one part of uh, to, to be, uh, to approach the consumer, but really we have to start to live this. We have quite a lot of experience on that because 10 years ago, our Swiss customer asked us 
asked us to to actually totally change our the value chain model actually and to invest in live production to make other farms than we used to have it before this was also conditioned to continue to work with them so we have to transform to uh, in line to to still work with uh, with swiss customers um, how they came to this actually the state the Switzerland, they decided, all retailers in the country, they decided and set themselves higher standards than they had before. And producers has, has to follow. So we were the one who starts, then we, we applied this, this program also to Slovenian market, to Austrian market. We are selling this program, Natur Premium line also to Macedonia, Kosovo and so on. Uh, but we think that concept food is the future. Because in mass production, you know that uh, always price matters, but it's okay because price of food has to be competitive, no doubt. Uh, but we can focus here really on, on, uh, on animal welfare, on uh, also other issues like antibiotic free, where we can be successful and then we can compete also on this huge market of all producers in Europe. Excellent. So, what other uh, what other uh, sustainability, uh, let's say, topics are you covering? Is this something very, uh, how to say, uh, exotic or not? Like energy saving, water saving, or your industry is basically working this on for decades already, and maybe we, the consumers, are not aware of your initiatives related to sustainability, water, energy, um, animal uh, welfare, and things like that. Well, how would you comment? the activities of your company in the last decades related to sustainability? We were not very active uh, 10 years ago, 10, 20 years ago, I have to admit. Mm. Uh, it's also connected with investments, you know, and with uh, financial health of organizations. So you have to be, I would say, health company, healthy company, financially healthy company, that uh, you can then more support sustainability as it is so it goes i think uh, one with another uh, in the last years we are investing a lot in uh, wastewater treatment um, in uh, also in our employees in uh, product safety in innovations in animal welfare uh, and, and other categories which we can say that they are worth of uh, sustainability but for the future, we have no choice. And also we would not, we wouldn't like that we have choice because it's the only way uh, to survive in this world, not only for the companies, but also for the human beings. Uh, so for the last three years, when we got new owner also, which is, uh, which stocks are listed on the London Stock Exchange, we are preparing uh, non-financial sustainability report where we are disclosing and describing all our activities. So, David, you already mentioned the, the acceptance of consumers and, uh, you know, very, very dynamic uh, temperature consumers are uh, uh, posing to food. How do you see acceptance of sustainability of your efforts from the consumer point of view? How are they reacting to your sustainability issues? I would say it's a matter of uh, how we communicate this. Uh, I don't see here some positive or negative uh, emotions or feelings. It's more that if we will not go in this direction, there will be negative emotion uh, from, the, from the consumer side. So now everybody's talking about this. Uh, all companies would like to achieve some goals on, on, on sustainability issue uh, but i think that uh, in the future if we will not transform consumers will penalize uh, us very quickly yeah. but to have now uh, some some uh, uh, informations from the customers uh, we don't have when we change the for instance when we change packaging uh, with the renewable uh, materials we have some feedback from the customers we also made some uh, pr about this and it was positive you hope back. Uh, but in general, I would not say, I would say that everybody is expecting this. Mm -hmm. It's not that 
that someone will say you are very good because you are going in, uh, in sustainability, you are working on sustainability issues. Uh, I think this is global expectations now, especially uh, with younger people. It's basically a must, isn't it? So uh, yeah. it's interesting, uh, also related to to to, to uh, labeling sustainability and things like that. So um, a, a little bit of co commercial also from our side at the university, we are of course doing a lot of research related to perception, accept acceptance, the systems how to label sustainability on all its uh, facets. So it's a very complex and often misunderstood or not understand, uh, uh, understood uh, issue from the consumer point of view. It was really nice to chat to you, Mr. David. So we have a last question now, uh, which is of course related to the future. Uh, basically all the things that you were explaining to us are related to future. You are coming from a stable standard classical industry, food industry, but still a lot of activities related to the future. One of the last questions, maybe there are two, <laughs> but, uh, but the last question is related to how do you see the collaboration with, with the universities, of, with the institutes? What are your, uh, let's, let's say, visions for collaboration models with the university, with the researchers? And then particularly maybe some comments. Uh, I think I can disclose that Peritnina Ptui is a part of national initiative on insect bioconversion. So this is a hub where biotechnical faculty will lead uh, the introduction of, uh, of this very, very topical uh, uh, development in food and agriculture. Namingly, we will try to, 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 to bring in the production of sustainable proteins for animal feed. So we will uh, start the national initiative, of course, with a strong collaboration with the industry like, uh, like Perutnina Ptu and others. Also Siemens, Koto and other companies are joining the initiative. And we would like to use wasted food to produce ingredients for animal feed. So sustainable proteins uh, uh, for, for chicken feed based on insect bioconversion of, of wasted food. So Mr. David, your last thought on the two issues, collaboration with industries and sustainable sources of proteins for your excellent food that you produce. So the chickens, which are eating various uh, high level ingredients, but maybe in the future, they will eat ingredients, which are their natural, natural feed, namely insects. Yeah. Uh, first uh, topic, Alesh, I think that real sector uh, companies, they cannot exist without university. This is very pragmatic issue. So if the university can exist without the real sector, they can probably. <laughs> but I don't think it's very smart. Yeah. Why? Because, because uh, uh, to get people today, educated people to, to be interested also and uh, to find it, it's very difficult. So. Uh, how we can improve this with collaboration between university and uh, and uh, companies that means that not when we finish university we start to uh, we start to search for a job and uh, then to see what companies are doing what are the processes which company would fit to me and so on it make much more sense to do it uh, before uh, that means our co collaboration between Perutnina to and university i think it's uh, very good and we would like to continue this and we would like to be part of, uh, of the program from first year on that at the end, your students will actually know our company and uh, that uh, to, to those who see challenges also in, uh, in, in this field, uh, that they can come and uh, work for Peretnina Ptui. The second topic about, uh, about insects, Actually, it's very new to me. We are uh, we are part of this, and we are all uh, very enthusiastic. What will be actually the end results? It's a radical idea. Uh, I know that the insects uh, in the world uh, that there is a lot of uh, a lot of research being done on this part, but to transfer insects to the to the food for uh, for uh, chickens, this is really revolutionary, and we are looking forward to the results. Uh, and uh, you can be sure that we will be very active, uh, active, uh, active member of uh, this consortium.
Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, a lot has been said, so uh, I think this is the end of our fireside chat. Uh, and I'm calling Simona to, to comment our, our discussion and then, of course, close this part of uh, Unimind's um, uh, event. Well, I'm looking forward to new products uh, that will come to, to, the, to, to, the, to the market shelves, uh, especially if they are healthy, local, and good to the taste. I have tasted already in one of the weekends, startup weekends at Biotechnical Faculty. I've, I uh, ate uh, insects. They were quite delicious because they were transformed into the flour and baked in a sweet. So there is possibility also for insects. Yeah. yeah so Thank our you idea much. is uh, to clarify, our idea is to produce animal feed and produce excellent chicken products uh, uh, with sustainable protein, not the protein which is, let's say, usable also for the human, uh, like, uh, like soya or things like that. But we will use the wasted food, which is usually going to, to bio gases or even worse to the reinceration on the, on the feed, uh, on the waste fields. We will use this uh, food, wasted food for feeding the insects and then insects will be transformed into the excellent diet for the Perutnina Ptui chicken and the farmers which are collaborating with Perutnina Ptui. Much easier market entry. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 Thank you, Alice and David, for your interesting you. dialogue and insights. You, yes, thank you. And thank you for the participants for being with us today. Please join us in the next session. It's starting just now. Good practice, examples, and presentation of current opportunities in the food sector that will be supported by EIT Hub in Slovenia, EIT Food Hub in Slovenia. Take care, keep an open mind, and see you at the next event. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.